Nicole, the math lady, and today we're talking about converting percents to decimals. Well, let's say I had a percent, 75%. Well, we know that 75%, really any percent, is that number over 100. 75% 75 is 75 over 100. So we actually can turn it into a fraction first, and from here, it's pretty easy to see what the decimal equivalent is, right? 75 over 100 is the same thing as saying 0 0.75. Well, let's take a look at a few examples and possible variations of this. Take a look at these examples. Let's start with the first one. 5%, it's the same thing as saying 5 over 100. Okay, and we wanna to get to a decimal which we know it's got to be in the hundredths place. So there's our five in the hundredths place, 0 0.05. Now I want you to look close at this example. We had a five here and we end up with a 0 0.05. So doesn't that just really mean that we have moved our decimal, which is right past the five, we've moved it two places to the left. It was here and now it's gone boom, boom. And then that's how we drop a percent move the decimal, and now we have an actual proper decimal. Let's try it that way for the rest of the problems. So 50%, which we know, okay, look, we know it's the same thing as 50 over 100, or we can just try moving the decimal point two places, one, two, do the same thing as saying 0 0.5. And isn't that what we would have put anyway? We would have point 0 0.50, and you know we can just drop that zero. Let's just try moving it two spaces. 123%. Let's move it two spaces. We're gonna end up at 1.23%. Oops, sorry, I got all excited. No percent. <laughs> We're doing decimals. So here we go. We move the two places to the left and we get 1.23. And doesn't that make sense? We have a percent that's over 100, which means it's more than a whole. It's more than one. And that's what our decimal shows. It's 1.23. The 2.3 is the portion that's over one. The nine and a half, let's take a look at that one. Nine and a half really is the same thing as saying nine, we know a half is 0.5. Right? So 9.5%, because 0.5 is 5 tenths, which is the same thing as saying 1 half. Now it's probably pretty easy to move that decimal two places to the left. Here we go. We're gonna have to use some zeros as placeholders. Right, so let's just write it like this. 9, 5, we know the decimal is here. Let's move it, 1, 2. So the answer is gonna be zero, put my zero in the front, Boop. 0 0.095. So again, when you have this little fraction hanging out here, just turn that little piece into, it, into its decimal form first, 9.5, and now move it. Not bad, right? Yes, yeah, so, so if you just remember that we're going to move that decimal places two places to the left, that's the easy peasy way to do it, okay? All right, we've got some practice problems for you just on this. Make sure you give them a try. All right, it's Nicole. I will talk to you later. Take care. Bye.